Now I'm taking a look at safety for the 2019 Toyota Prius at carseatblog.com. I have the XLE AWD E trim that I'm reviewing along with the base Eco and LE trims. Very good fuel economy all around, up to 56 combined for the Eco, 52 for most of the rest of the Prius models, and also a very good 50 miles per gallon with the all-wheel drive system. The all-wheel drive system will cost a little bit of a premium over the non-all-wheel drive versions, as to be expected. If you want that extra security in lower traction systems on the road, this model is not suitable for off-road use, of course. And the star safety system standard across the board, as are most of the other necessary safety features that you would want. Toyota makes them standard on almost all of their lineup, which is great. That means you find them on dealer lots, such that they qualify for safety awards. And unlike other brands, you don't have to just get the top trim level, sometimes with pricey options packages. The Safety Sense P system, also standard. That means you get automatic emergency braking on every vehicle, including the Eco model, and that is what will qualify for that IHS Top Safety Pick Award. Intelligent Clearance Sonar with Parking Assist, not available on Eco, but is available standard on all the other models. The same is true with the Blind Spot Monitor with Cross Traffic Alert for the rear, also standard LE and up, including the all-wheel drive variants. All the other safety systems standard again, as I mentioned. That means it gets a top safety pick award from the IIHS for 2019 because that automatic emergency braking earns the superior rating and the front crash prevention system is standard across the board. And you can see the good results in almost all of the other crash tests from the IHS. An acceptable result in the passenger side, the new small overlap test, and the headlights, of course, not a crash test. But it did get the G-plus rating for the child safety seat latch system that we will discuss in my other video and our review. We'll also take a look at the government's crash testing protocol from safercar.gov. The NHTSA gives it a five-star overall safety rating, and you can see that breaks down to a four-star frontal rating due to two four-star results for the front full-width crash barrier test on the driver and passenger side. Side overall rating is five stars. It did have kind of a blemish down here with a two-star in the overall side pole star rating. I'm not really sure how it achieved two stars and then got five in the combined barrier and pole ratings and five in the overall side rating. Uh, that's one of the mysteries of the NHTSA's rating system. You can see it did get a four star in the rollover as well, but did combine with all of those ratings despite the two star and a couple of four star ratings get the five star overall rating. Uh, just kind of an inconsistency, you know, though you can't compare to other vehicles in different weight and size classes directly. You can see See how something like the Mitsubishi Outlander for 2019 only achieved a four star overall rating, but looking at those sub ratings, you can see it actually did a little bit better than Prius, got a five star in this front passenger side rating, similar four stars here and here. In the side crash rating, it got five stars instead of two, five stars everywhere else, unlike the Prius, it did a little better there, and the same four star rollover rating. Of course, there are minor differences perhaps in how those individual ratings are achieved, and that must have what been what led to the Outlander getting the four stars instead of the five stars overall like Prius. So a little bit uh, curious how that works, but nonetheless, Prius five stars overall from the government, top safety pick from the IHS, all the necessary safety features standard. So very safe vehicle uh, for your family with very good fuel economy and value. The 2019 Toyota Prius at carseatblog.com. Be sure to check out our full review.